Welcome friends, I guess you found your way over to this video because of its title and uh, you probably own a Toyota and your visor is all jammed up. So I have a uh, 2006 Toyota Tacoma um, and a great truck, no major problems with it actually, uh, but there are these little things about it that really have been driving me nuts. The driver's side visor, and I'm going to assume the passenger side will eventually go sideways, um, it did break, and many of you are probably experiencing that. Uh, this is now 2019. It's a 2006, so it took a while for it to come, at least in my case, took a while before it uh, materialized. But I've also noticed that there are some other people out there that have experienced similar problems, and I figured I'd show you what I did to solve the problem. All right, so I took a took my handy-dandy knife, sliced open the, uh, the fabric, because that's the only way to get that out, and the clamshell just kind of comes apart fairly easily after you've done that. Then uh, the, uh, the real problem here is there's this little piece of plastic that, uh, can you see that? Probably not very clear, but anyway, a little piece of plastic that should be right in there. Oops. <laughs> it should be right in there like that. And uh, that plastic is the only thing keeping this thing from, you know, swiveling around. This little piece of metal has got a spring inside that uh, allows the visor to spring out of the way, uh, spring down or spring up out of the way when necessary. And over time, that piece of plastic broke, it's done. So I've taken my handy dandy drill and I've drilled through the back of this thing. Just like that. Can you guys see that? Do we need to open up, make it a little lighter? Let's make it a little bit lighter, shall we? How do we do that? Just like that. There you go. All right, and then we focus in. Anyway, um, right there, I take and the uh, uh, drill the hole. Actually, I drilled the hole from this side first while everything was in place. Drilled down inside of there. Found a screw that'll fit. I uh, will come through, do this, put a washer and a nut, and in my test, it worked fine. So right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this uh, uh, screw down so that it's very, very flush. There's also a little piece underneath here that's right in there. You're going to have to get rid of that as well because it's going to be in the way of this screw, even no matter how short you make it. As you can see, I marked it with a Sharpie, how long it needs to be. I've got uh, my handy dandy pliers and they're, uh, they're also cutters. I'm going to screw this 832 screw. That's what I happen to be using here. Into there. Until I... get into there and it should be right around when you don't see it anymore it should be right in there give it a squeeze ah. there you go okay should be at the right length oh there's my black mark i guess i'd better go at it again doggone it didn't make it short enough i don't want it too long because it will be a problem too long as well there you go don't want it too short and then it doesn't fit there you go. Oh, hey, that looks good. Put this through here, pre-drilled hole. There, it just pops out just enough. I'm gonna put my washer on. I noticed earlier that uh, the uh, because it's all dark colors here, it was kind of difficult to see. Sorry about that. Screw that in, just like that. Take your handy dandy screwdriver. Sorry that I'm not taking time to focus. There you go. It's screwed in. It's as flush as I can make it. Now I put a washer in there because there's this little groove that you saw in the previous picture um, in that metal and this washer and nut are going to put tension and keep that thing down. And technically, now, if I can do this for you on camera, there you go. And it's, it's uh, got plenty of tension. So it ain't going anywhere, folks, at least not for now. If anything, the whole thing is going to break. But I'm too cheap to spend $100 on a brand new one from Toyota. That, And then I'm going to have to believe them that they actually fixed that problem. Otherwise, it's just going to happen all over again. So that's what I got. I'm not going to go buy a $29 one from China. Um, you know, It's just going to go sideways in another way, probably. That's how I fixed it. In a few seconds, I'm going to throw it all together. 
and show you how it looks all back reassembled. By the way, these are the parts that got broken. Just throw them away, just like that. Oh yeah, don't forget, this little piece of plastic right there, gonna have to lop that off so that the nut here doesn't bang up against it, because as it is, it's going to. After clipping that off, it fits in there really well. Um, yeah, let's get that back that way. I'm gonna just take some fabric tape, which is very sticky. Uh, some of you may know it as gaffer's tape. This is not duct tape. This uh, glue does, uh, does a very good job of sticking, but it's also a fabric that keeps, uh, keeps things together. All right. Now it's a matter of tucking all this back. At this point, I don't give a hoot what it looks like, quite frankly, because it's already all jacked up. And if I need to, I'll just go buy myself a, another one. Okay, I'm not going to bore you. I'm going to get this all put together and then I'll show you the very final part. Alrighty, there you go. Fabric tape. May not be the prettiest in the world, but you know what? It's going to be functional and uh, it was better than having it be broken. Okay, I'm going to put it in the truck now. Oh, also, the uh, probably the, the longest amount of time it took was to get this thing all tucked back inside. Take your handy screwdriver though and just carefully go along and, and tuck it in, tuck it in, tuck it in, and then stretch it over and it should be fine. Be patient. This didn't go uh, very quickly. I have to take my time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Ring the bell. All right, proof is in the pudding here. And take it, open it up, slide this baby in there. You know, it would be better if it wasn't 110 degrees in the Texas heat today. There's another screw that goes in there, but I'm not gonna do it quite yet. There you go. How do you like that? It works. All right, put that screw in there. You got yourself fixed. Got to put a little tape here. Who knows how long that tape's gonna hold. Uh, it's very hot and it just may end up uh, giving way. I'll have to find another kind of adhesive or maybe just hot glue would work uh, just as good. But there you go, it's working now. I got to find my other screw, screw that in, and I'll be done. All right, there you go. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. I guess it's kind of like down here somewhere. Leave comments, I'll be happy to answer them, try to help you out if you still have any troubles. All right, see you guys later. And uh, let's screw that. All right, well, there you go. They went into the abyss.